Hello everyone, let's get you started in Linearity Move. When you first open the app, you're going to see the home screen. For now, let's create a new document. I can import files from here too. I'll hit confirm. Now that we're in the file, you'll see at the bottom there's this scene timeline. I can go into design mode and start drawing. I can also bring in my assets from Curve, Figma or any other supported file format. So I'll go into Curve, I'll copy the visual and I'll paste it over here. When I'm in design mode and I move an element, no animation will be recorded. But if I were to go into animate mode and for example move this cursor, an animation would be created. If I want to quickly make a tapping animation, I can go into our presets and hit tap. Now when we play the animation, there's a tap of the cursor at the end. I can go to the project section by clicking on project. Here we see our first scene. Scenes are smaller parts of the animation that we can stitch together with transitions. Next, we'll quickly see how we can animate with auto animate. For that, we can draw our static assets in design softwares like Curve, Figma and Illustrator. I've already drawn some, so when I import these into Move, the software will match the objects with unique names between two artboards and create an animation automatically. Let's go back to Move and import a scene from the timeline. I can select all the artboards and drag here to create a new scene. I can also specify the duration of the scene here and click on import. And there you have it. We have our animation, just like magic. When I'm ready, I can export my animation from the top. I hope you find this preview useful. You can learn more from the Learn tab on the home screen. Let's bring our stories to life with Linearity Move.